Hey, Sergeant. What do you got? Thanks for coming out. This is the lady who made the call. Her dog wouldn't stop barking. Huh. Do you want me to call on the bomb squad? Maybe. Crime lab. And an ambulance. 2114, be advised, roll a crime lab and an ambulance. Good to go? Baby's triple zero. Dead? Yeah, but she's cold, so we gotta take her to the hospital. Pronounce it. All right, we assigned a patrol unit to follow you. We'll stand by for missing parents or an ID. Okay. Crime Lab's taking a duffel from Prince Hair Blood. As soon as the body's released from med, they'll start on a blanket and pajamas. Guess what else they found in the bag? Rocks. Looks like whoever did this put them in the way it down. How long has she been here? Crime Lab says preliminary estimates seven hours. So, 1, 2 a.m. I check the harbor for cameras, run all the parking meters. I'll check back with the officers, too, see if they got anything on cameras. Good. You know we can hand this off to Area Central Homicide. No. We're going to find out who did this. Take it down. Crime Lab's still working on the pajamas and the blanket, but the duffel was part of a promotion by Punch Sports Club last May. The guy I spoke to said they gave out 100 of them. They have to fill out a card in order to get one? No, they were handed out at a street fair. You know, a local band, tents for area businesses, and a radio station. Okay, but what about video? I called the radio station. They had some for promotion. Uh, street fair, too. They're sending it over. And I'm searching social media for any photos or video tagging the fair. We'll run everything you get through facial recognition as soon as you get it. Jay, put together a list of everybody who signed up on the heels of Punch's promotion. Run every name and address. That was forensics. The pajamas and the blanket were mass market, so they're still looking into that, and the rocks were pulled up from where the girls left. Maybe someone tried to sink her, but chickened out last minute. Well, this isn't some abandoned baby with the umbilical cord still attached. She had a blanket, her own pajamas. That means somebody cared for her, and I want to know who. I want a doctor. I want a birth certificate. I want the parents. I want to know what happened. I want to know why. Hey, the, the morgue sent us up here for that baby. She's in trauma one. I don't understand. Dr. Manning, they're here about the baby. Working on her now. Working on her? That baby didn't even have a pulse. Wait, she's alive? Thing is, you have to be warm to be dead. temperatures, your system slows to protect you. A slower metabolism needs less to survive, and the cold can actually preserve your brain and other organ functions. So she could survive? We're rewarming her, giving her fluids, breathing for her, and doing CPR. No promises, but when she warms up more, we'll know a little bit better. Keep a good thought. Hey, Doc, did you do blood panels on her? Yeah. Hey. I already ordered it. Thanks. One second. Listen, I want you to stay close. Anyone comes in or out about this baby, I want to know about it. I don't want any status update on a condition. Got it. Sorry. Blood sample to trace the DNA. OK. Dr. Manning ordered a panels, too, and we found something in her blood work. The baby's labs show she's anemic and has sickle cell disease. That means at least one of the parents has it, right? And it's usually an ongoing treatment process. You got a network of hospitals for patients getting treatment for it? Well, here's the registry, but there are a few hospitals in the region that have sickle cell programs. Thanks, sir. Trey Butler? Yes? 
happy to ask you a few questions. What were you doing in Chicago last night? I was at a medical clinic there. We drove back at 2 a.m. My session was over at 1. What is this about? Why is he... Don't worry about him. You got kids? <laughs> no. You don't have a baby? A brand new baby? No. Hey! Hey, wait here. I got another one where she's frozen. Blue. What the hell? Is this your daughter? Okay, you got the wrong guy. I don't have any daughter. I, I think you should go. Maybe we do have the wrong guy. We got a DNA kit. Why don't you come back to our district, do the swab thing, talk, and if you're right, you'll be back here in a couple of hours with a formal apology and a six pack on me. Sarge. You got a big problem, Trey. Your DNA is the match. I'm telling you, that test is wrong. There's no way I have a baby. That test says you're lying. That test is your fingerprint. I was in Chicago to go to the clinic. I come here every month for treatment there. That's why my phone must You start have... calling the girls' names in your contacts, they're gonna say they weren't with you? No one I was careless with, no. They would have come to me, I would know. How? Think back. You didn't go to a bar, a nightclub, meet up on Tinder. No. I unzipped the bag this morning. It had your two-week-old baby, and it stuck there like a piece of trash. Oh, no. A piece of trash you hope would wash out to sea. <laughs> You're gonna tell us what happened. Well, I'm gonna do something I won't regret, not for one second. I don't care if it costs me my Dad. job. You are gonna talk, you understand? I swear on my life, on my mother's life, I would never do this. Where were you 10 months ago? Last July, who were you with? July, I... God, uh, here in Chicago? No. What? I, what? The, the Blues Fest. First couple of days of July last year, there was a girl. What's your name? Tana. Tana, something with an M. Miller. Baylor. I need more than that. I don't know it. I was high. I was really high. What did she look like? Uh, pretty. I don't know. Small. Dark haired, white. And, and she had a bird on her shirt, like a, like a school jersey, and had a hawk on it. How old was she? I didn't check her ID, okay? I. She's holding a beer. I thought he was old enough. <laughs> It was just a hookup. I didn't do this. <laughs>